personnel in first first person on scene and first responder. This allows us to get initial medical care should the ambulance not be in attendance, or still to work as a team with the medical services and provide additional help. We already have a casualty carrier in the vehicle. He will stabilise the casualty. He will constantly talk to that casualty. We'll also set up area operation. We have an inner and outer court, and that was one of the unfamiliarities that we had during the training. That the two services, north and south, had different operating areas. We could make crews aware of that. That's why keeping our crews safe and other personnel. We could take those on board, and as crews arrive, we can increase our zones of operation. Time is of the essence, and if crews already know each other and have had that familiarity, then we can get straight to work, not having to work in separate crews. We can mix, we can get on with the work, we know what needs to be done, it doesn't matter where we're coming from. The multi agency working that has happened has been hurting to see. Everybody has taken it on board with a full wisdom, um, full effort, and they've eagerly wanted to take part in the training. And not only take part in it, but also impart their knowledge to us. As you can see with simultaneous activities, we have crew cutting away at the windscreens, cutting away at the aim post. They're now heading to the B and C posts on one side using the hydraulic. The look has been used on the far side. Chops you can see under the vehicle is our stabilisation. That would have been one of the first things we'd done when we arrived. Again, this was preset. That's to stop moving the vehicle and making the injury any further injuries to the casualty worsen. The sooner we can get that casualty out of the vehicle and to hospital care, the better for them in increasing their survival rate. And by doing that, if we can have crews coming from the near station, that's lowering the time taken to get them out of the vehicle. During the seminar, we uh, had a partners from the PSNI and the guards and the forensic services. We were able to bring back to the training some of their concerns about the removal of evidence. Every road traffic collision needs to be investigated. If it's a fatal, it certainly needs to be investigated. They were able to raise their concerns with us, and we will bring that back as part of the training. And just to let the crews know that where possible, we want to work with the forensic services. Um, and if we do something to that vehicle, make sure that they're made aware so that the families can get the fullest of information. It's about partnership working, multi agency working as well. As you can see, we've created enough space now that the crews can get out casually and ensure that the movement is restricted.